Welcome to another in the continuing series of 4-Minute Fridays by TPM. My name is Bruce Harris and I'm a Senior Application Engineer here at TPM. Today's topic is importing PDF files as objects in AutoCAD. So with that said, let's switch over to AutoCAD and get going. Now over here in AutoCAD, I have a drawing with a PDF file attached as an XREF. Now one of the ways that you can import a PDF is to select on an already attached PDF file. Then up on your context sensitive ribbon, import as objects will be available. Now when you select that, we can either do all or a polygonal area and we also have some settings so let's just do a polygonal area and I'm just going to draw a window around one of the parts here at this point you can either keep the PDF as an underlay detach it or unload it I'm going to choose to detach it so all we should have left when we get finished are objects that have been converted. So now our underlay went away and as you can see the geometry in here is AutoCAD geometry. Now that's one way to to deal with PDFs. Another way is to bring them in as you import. So to do that I'm going to go here to import PDF or PDF import. Choose the file that I want to import. Now PDFs are definitely not all created the same so some may come in one to one, some may come in at a scale depends on how they were created and what program was used to create them. So if you have a particular scale that you know you need to bring it in as you can specify that here. Um, as far as different sheets you can choose the sheet you want to bring in so I'm just going to choose this sheet right here. Now here are some of our settings and our settings are important it brings in because it determines how it brings in these objects. So we want to bring in vector geometry, solid fills, it's going to automatically recognize true type fonts and any raster images that are in the PDF it's going to attach them as uh, a reference. Now we could bring it in as a block, join the lines and arcs into polylines, um, convert solid fills to hatches. Um, this one apply line weight properties only um, is applicable if the PDF file itself has line weights in it and if it does it tries to interpret them and set them up as line weights in AutoCAD. Also this allows it to infer line types so if it looks like a dashed line instead of making each dash an object it turns it into a dashed line. Now if layers were included in your PDF you can use those layers when you bring it in. If not you can create them on object layers or you can just bring everything in on your current layer. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring in this. and it's going through and evaluating any of the types of objects in there and voila it brought in our PDF. Now if the text was true type text like that is then sure enough over here it tells us you know what kind of, of text that it is. So that's how it deals with true type fonts. Now if the text were SHX fonts, it brings them in as individual objects. 
Now what you can do with that, and I'll just do an area of this, is you can go to this command, Recognize SHX Text. And if you click on Recognize SHX Text, it allows you to put a window around some text. And I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'm just going to do that area right there. And if I go into Settings, this is where you can tell it what fonts you want it to compare to. And you can go add here and add any other fonts that you might have. Now, obviously, the more fonts you add and have checked in here, then the longer it takes to do this comparison. I don't have very many checks, so let's go OK and see what we come up with. So now we have M text and it is simplex. So it found it as the simplex SHX style. Another thing to point out, this is a raster object that was embedded in and sure enough it is still a raster object and it's attached as an underlay. Now the last thing to talk about with PDFs is scaling. Now, not all PDFs are going to be created equal. Some will come in one to one. So if something is eight feet in the PDF, it will come in as eight feet. Some will come in as the scale they were printed at. And others might come in at some bizarre number that makes no logical sense to any of us. So as long as we have a known dimension, we can scale the PDF so that it is one to one. Now right now we've got this dimension right here. It should be an easy dimension to measure off from center to circle to center of the circle. So if I use my distance command and check what that dimension is now, I see that that dimension is two inches and it's supposed to be eight feet. So obviously we have a problem. So what I'm going to do is fix that with the reference option of the scale command. So let me zoom out here and go to my home and go into the scale command. Um, using the reference option to me is the easiest way to fix the scale of PDFs. So I'm just going to put a window around everything and specify a base point of 0 comma 0. And then I'm going to type R for reference rather than me having to figure out what that differential is, I'm going to let AutoCAD do it. So from here to here is 8 feet. So now I let AutoCAD scale that to 8 feet. Zoom out. Let's zoom in again and let's measure it once it's been scaled. So go back to my distance command again and once again from center to center and now it says it is 8 feet. Now the last thing I want to talk about with PDFs is the fact that this particular operation that we've been doing only works with vector based PDFs. So if the PDF file was created from a CAD package, um, it should be a vector based PDF. But say someone scanned in an existing drawing to a PDF format, that would be a raster based PDF and we could not convert this. So this functionality only works with vector based PDF files. This has been another presentation in the series of 4-Minute Fridays from TPM. My name is Bruce Harris and I want to thank you for joining us and invite you to come back and watch again. Thank you.